Tim here. So after a lifetime of wimpy trucks, I finally bought something I'm proud of. A new Ram heavy duty truck with a 6.7 liter Cummins turbo diesel engine. So I set out, along with my best pal, James here on the video cam, to visit the folks in Columbus, Indiana, where they design, test, and build the Cummins turbo diesel. Hey, this truck changed my life. I'm your biggest fan. Did you know that in 2010, pickup trucks and other trucks too had to pass a new set of emission standards? Yeah, well they did. Now there are different ways of meeting these standards. With Ford and Chevy you have to add something called DEF, but not with my Ram pickup. Anyway, Cummins has always been way far out in front of the competition when it comes to emissions technology. You know how they do that? Well, me either. But I'm betting somebody at Cummins can help us out. James and I had discovered this place called the Oli Building. It's a top secret technical facility where they do advanced work on the Cummins turbo diesel. But for some reason, they just let us in. Anyway, we tracked down John Bush. So John, I've been hearing that Cummins is way out in front as far as emissions technologies go. So how do you guys manage to do that? Well, Tim, it's pretty clear. We've got a designated product preceding technology group, as we call it. It's always working on advanced research for technology for the next generation emissions. Uh, we've actually been starting several years ago on what you have in your Ram pickup today. In fact, we actually went to the 2010 emissions levels in 2007. So we actually out there three years ahead of when was required by the EPA, but we got to jump on the process, we got to jump on the technology, and we're able to prove it out and keep everything simple for the customer. All right. Okay, so John, one of the things I love about my truck is the fact that I don't have to use diesel exhaust fluid in it, and I know that owners of Ford and Chevy trucks have to use that fluid. So how are you guys at Cummins able to come up with a system that makes things sim simple for, for guys like me who don't want to do anything more than add some fuel to the truck and just hit the road? Yeah, I understand exactly what you mean, Tim. Uh, several years ago, we started developing the technology that is in your Ram pickup today. Uh, we were thinking about what's consumer friendly, what's uh, friendly to the environment, what's easy and simple to make, take, take care of. So we developed this NOx absorber system, which relies purely on diesel doesn't have any other additives, so your engine takes care of it. All you got to do is make sure you fill it up when you get low. For 2010, Ram Heavy Duty pickups with the 6.7 liter Cummins turbo diesel will continue to use award-winning 2010 emissions technology. That means the engine will utilize Cummins cooled EGR, a NOx absorber catalyst, and a diesel particulate filter. He told me that this technology has been continuously refined and optimized and is better than ever. Wow, that was a mouthful, wasn't it? So according to John, here's how it works. Now we start out with a close couple of catalysts very close to the turbocharger. Its predominant uh, use is to convert some of the hydrocarbons into heat and break them down a little bit for the next catalyst, which is our NOx absorber. And that's really the heart of this system, what makes it work. Your NOx absorber will trap your nitric oxides for a period of time, and then every so often we actually regen those and we use the hydrocarbons in the heat to convert those to N2 and oxygen and water vapor, all things that are naturally found in our environment atmosphere today. So it gives a very clean system. Mm -hmm. uh, following then the NOx absorber is the next catalyst element, which is called a diesel particulate filter. Uh, the particulate filter actually traps the carbon and soot particles that we used to see as black smoke out your tailpipe. Uh, no matter how hard you try with this truck, Tim, you're not going to see any black smoke out that tailpipe. Uh, sorry for that, <laughs> but it's good for the environment. We actually trap all those particles, and again, over a period of time, when we get to the, a certain point of load inside the particulate filter, we'll go through a process of regeneration, create the heat, actually oxidize the carbon, and it comes out as crystal clear gas into the environment. Very nice. I didn't understand too much of what he said, but I know the two things happen with that. It's clean, and it's simple, and I like that a lot. Tim, while you're here, let's step away from the pickup and let's move over to another fine RAM product that we call the chassis cab. Oh, okay. The chassis cab product is very similar to the pickup in appearance from the cab back, but from behind the cab to the back of the truck, it's actually straight frame rails. It's built so that bodybuilders, flatbeds, uh, your utility trucks like your electric crews working along the side of the road, uh, lifts, fork, you know, rollbacks, almost anything you can think of, it's really made for that commercial market as opposed to the consumer market like your pickup. Okay. Uh, due to that and due to the higher gross vehicle weights that are involved with the chassis cab, it actually drives a different emissions cycle, a different emissions requirement. And so we've actually chosen to go with 
the uh, DEF SCR system on the chassis cab truck for 2010. Okay, so this is a different exhaust system than, than what I have over here. Yes, it is different, and this one does use DEF, you mentioned yeah. earlier. Uh, with the commercial market and with commercial fueling stations, commercial uh, operation, uh, the DEF is more readily available. John told us about how the chassis cab trucks also use Cummins cooled EGR and a diesel particulate filter. But instead of a NOx absorber catalyst, it uses selective catalytic reduction, or SCR technology, to meet 2010 emissions. He said Cummins already has extensive experience in SCR technology with on-highway trucks and has over 250,000 SCR systems in operation. The Ram chassis cab SCR system uses a lot of the same parts that Cummins uses in the over-the-road semis, with engines over twice the size of the 6.7. Now that's built to last. Uh, so the way this system works, we actually start out very similar to the front end of your pickup. We've got a diesel oxidation catalyst and a diesel particulate filter. And as we discussed with your pickup, the particulate filter captures all of the soot particles, all the carbon, everything you would see as smoke, cleans all that up, keeps, takes care of itself, automatic regens, you never know, you never have to do anything about it. But then behind the DPF, we move into the SCR, which is Selective Catalytic Reduction Converter. And we inject the DEF just in front of this converter on an ongoing basis based on feedback of our nitric oxides. So like we talked about in the pickup, we have an NOx absorber that traps your nitric oxides, then uses a process with unburned hydrocarbons to convert into the SCR system actually uses the DEF, which is actually an aqueous urea solution, so it's got nitrogen and hydrogen in it. Okay. It takes that, reacts with the nitric oxides in the exhaust seam, converts that to N2, which is 70% of our atmosphere, and water vapor, and you know, comes out the tailpipe as harmless constituents that are completely clean. Okay, so again, we still have a very clean and very smart truck. Here. Very clean, very smart truck. Everything is controlled. It's all part of the brain of the truck, and you as the driver, in addition to putting your diesel fuel in, and on occasion adding DEF, the truck will take care of everything else for you. Wow. Cummins has so many great technologies that they can just choose which one is best to use, which is great, because my truck has a system that's complex, yet easy to use. A little bit like your camera. You know how to turn that thing off anyway? No, nah, I didn't think so. Let's get out of here and get something to eat, huh? This is where they sell Cummins stuff. They have everything here, like uh, shirts and bags and hats. Got some mugs over here and uh, this thing. So what do you want, James? Anything in the store, it's on me, buddy. At least I can do for my trusty cameraman. How about one of these? What are these anyway, water bottles? No, they're sample bottles. Not specimen bottles, they're sample bottles for testing DEF. Oh, right. I knew that. So what do you say, you want one of these? All right, we'll find something in the store for you. Come on. It's more of a commercial vehicle, unlike a uh, consumer cycle like your pickup drivers. And I got to start over because I just screwed that up. Okay. Yeah.